Okay, March 11th, Selection Sunday. It has happened. The teams have been named. There's still four teams that need to play in, but for the most part, the bracket is set, and Monday, the 12th, is National Bracket Day. So it's time to get this tournament going. The Ken's Talk Excel March Madness Bracket Sprap is functional. It's ready to go, and here's how you use it. Let's get this done in under five minutes. What you're looking at right here is the blank entry sheet. There are two files if you're running uh, a March Madness bracket pool for your office or wherever you're doing. Uh, there are two files you're going to need. One of them is going to have just the blank entry sheet, which you're looking at right now. This sheet's got all the teams laid out in all the conferences or all the regions. Uh, you can see that uh, up here there are comments within each one of the team names so that you can tell what the abbreviations are. UK is Kentucky, Iowa State's pretty easy, UConn, University of Connecticut. You see there's a pink cell right here. Uh, there's a blank cell. This game's to be determined. It's going to be Mississippi Valley in Western Kentucky, I think. You can choose a, a, a winner here by just clicking that little arrow and choosing one of the teams and the pink will disappear, but you probably want to wait until those games actually occur, but it's time to get this thing out, so we got to do it right now anyway. So we have all these different teams lined up, everything, all the conferences lined up. Uh, it's pretty easy. You just fill these things in like this. Of course, you only have UK to choose from in that game until we actually choose one of the teams to be a winner here. If you choose Mississippi Valley, then when you go back here and you'll have a choice of UK or Mississippi Valley. That's probably not going to happen, that upset right there. Iowa State, UConn, and it just keeps going out like this. Your traditional black bracket, you probably are aware of how to fill this out. Uh, rather than bore you by showing you how to do each one of these one by one, I have already filled out a sample bracket. I don't know if it's going to happen this way. I have no idea. Just run a sample, and I also added something here at the very end uh, that's new, newer than the older videos. If you've seen one of these videos before, I added a tiebreaker for total points in the final game. So the two teams added together, say it was uh, Kentucky and Syracuse here. You, I would think that the game score is going to be 62 to 60 or something like that. So I chose 122 points. You do need to type it in right there. You'll see that it shows up as as blank in general on this sheet right here. Right there. So you're just going to enter it in right there. The pink cell. Go back and enter that as 122. Once you've sent this blank entry file out to people and had them fill it out and they send it back to you, all the results are right here. By the way, I forgot. Put your name up top. That's how you know who ent what you know whose entry it is. This is Ken Stalk. And without that. It won't fill in right here. As you can see, the entry name pops up right here. So here's what you need to do once they've filled out the bracket. All you do is copy this, all this area in blue, all the way down to what will be the total points for the championship game right there. Boom, I have the 122. You copy this whole area, right click, and copy. And then you go to your master bracket. The master bracket has, uh, you know, is where you're going to be keeping the actual results of the games. And here's where all the entries go. Look at all that. That's basically 500. I put 500 in here that can fit more. If you have a tournament that ends up having more than 500 people, let me know, and I will expand this out for you so that you can handle more than 500. But yeah, there's all that area for us to put in the results. So what you do is you go to, in order, one of the blank blue areas right here. Now I just copied this area right here. I have it copied right now in the queue waiting to come out. You go to the very first light blue cell right here. This is going to be entry number one. You're going to right click and you're going to do paste special. You can't just paste it normally. You have to do paste special and click values. And the reason you're doing that is because there are formulas on that other sheet. And it's not going to work right if you just press paste. You have to paste values. And here everything goes, starting with the title of the entrant, it's Ken's talk, and then all the teams that were picked, and the total points right there at the bottom. You know you've done it right when the total points show up in this pink area, right here. And then you would put, you know, your next entrant that sends the results, you're going to put them right here, number two, the next one you do is number three, and then when you get to 50, you have to go down and start here again, because here's where number 51 is. And there's 500 of those areas. So once you've pasted the, the results in here and the games start actually happening and the results start happening let's say that Kentucky wins the first game here this is your master bracket so this is where you keep all the final results Kentucky's right there it will award 
in this case, award one point for a win in the first round, two points for a win in the second round, three points for a, or four points for a win in the third round, eight points for a win in the fourth round, 16 and 32. You can change your point structure here by typing in new point structures for each of these rounds. You can just type over them and they will automatically apply down here. And once this is done, you have a standings page and you can see that the only person who has an entry in here is me right now and we've only seen one result and I earned one point because I got that right. And here's my total points for tiebreaker, 122. You are going to have to figure this out manually if you have two people who tie. Um, you know, you can always sort this thing by uh, in descending by points. You can use these filters here to sort. You can always sort this descending, largest to smallest. And uh, whoever has the most points, if they're tied, you'll have to manually do your little tiebreaker, but it's pretty easy at that point, so not a big deal. So that's pretty much how to use this bracket and the master bracket. Send out the two files, send out just one blank entry sheet to all the people you need to fill it out and you keep the master bracket for yourself so when they send you your results back you can paste their results in these blue cells and you're good and uh, no manual calculations, no tabulating, no paper it's, it's pretty darn easy, doing it a few years now so if you have any questions you can give me a call 703-531-8960 or email me ken at kenstock.com and there you go happy March Madnessing good luck